I I now in this last fight I I've, I've learned a lot about this and you're saying that I've started to hit a little harder don't you think understand I was hitting harder I thought I was even hitting harder than the guy and I saw that he was controlling a lot he wanted me to hit him all the time and the whole time I was hitting him hard there'd be three rounds there and suddenly he'd want to grab me I'd get tired you know and putting it like this him let's say I'm better technically than him, but without gas, I'm nobody, anybody, you know? If it makes me tired, his strategy works. Well, I'd be in trouble. I started the last one, the last one. So I just started playing and playing there. But it hurt. It was a dry touch, you know? The good little glove there and stuff, kicking and stuff. The moment I saw that he was bad right there, it was the two kicks I gave him in the calf. He's a guy who came walking, so he came walking. When you program yourself, if you just lift your leg, it's one thing, right? But if you project your body forward, walking, you've arrived here, there's no way back. So there was a time when I just fainted, which you can see is quite invisible, standing still. I fainted, he did it like that to walk, so I kicked him before he put his foot on the ground when he was coming. I was already kicking, so it was two kicks in a row that left him lost. And I also punched him in the chest. In his chest, I threw several, but there was one that, you know, you feel a punch that he thought, fuck, that's fucked. Like, ah, oh, that I felt, I heard some interviews, ah, oh, that he felt comfortable, that I thought it was easy and stuff. Dude, I'll tell you, I don't think he felt that way, that it was easy for him. For those watching, it's easy because it seems like nothing. But man, I hurt. I hurt.